I want to consider the following reaction at 298 Kelvin. So they've given me the reaction, and they've given me delta G of the reaction in kilojoules. And I want to compute delta G of the reaction under the following pressure. So they've given me these pressures right here. And then when I'm all finished, I want to know if the reaction is more or less spontaneous under the conditions for this problem than if they were under standard conditions. And it's another one of those thought questions that if you're not really sure how I get the answer, you can plug in standard conditions to figure it out. So this is the formula that we're going to use because we have a pressure, so we have to find Q. Now, how in the world do we find Q? Remember, Q is like K. So we take the products over the reactants only for the gases. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to compute Q over here because I have a feeling that eventually I would run out of room. So I take the pressure of the water divided by the pressure of the H2S times the pressure of the SO2. So this would give me 0 0.0100 divided by 2.00 times 1.50. And when I do that calculation, I'm going to get 3.33 times 10 to the minus third. Now I've got that, so now I can plug in from the original reaction above. So I'm going to look at this reaction right here. Now, remember the rate R is going to be in joules, so I need to convert delta G of the reaction from kilojoules into joules by multiplying by a thousand. So I'm going to have negative one zero two zero 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 joules. And then I'm going to add to that the rate constant, which is 8.314 joules over mole, so moles divided by moles times Kelvin. And then I'm going to multiply by the temperature, which they gave us, which was 298 Kelvin. And then I'm going to multiply by what? Oh, first I have to put the natural log, right? So don't leave that out. I've got the natural log of the number we just found, which is that 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3. So when I do this calculation, what do I get? I get some really nasty number, right? I get negative 116131.5318, and that's in joules. But remember, we need it in kilojoules. I know we did that before, but we're going to go ahead and divide by 1,000. So that's going to give me negative 116.1315 kilojoules, but how many significant figures do I want? Well, all of my pressures had three, so I need to have three in this answer, so it's gonna be negative 116 kilojoules. Okay, that's half the problem. Now, is it going to be more or less spontaneous under these conditions than under standard conditions? Well, we know it's minus, so it's already spontaneous, and if we make it these conditions versus standard, what is standard? Make sure you remember what standard is. That means that this is going to be more spontaneous.